is Jim and I'm at the edge of Austin, Texas and uh, I'm uh, I'm headed for uh, McKinney Falls, uh, McKinney uh, Falls or McKinney Rough uh, State Park as part of uh, Big Blue County's uh, State Park Challenge. I missed my February State Park, but I'll try to do two in March to make up for that. I've never been here before. I've lived in Austin a long time, but never been down to this park before, which is right on the edge of Austin near the airport. I'm. Uh, I think Big Blue County had a good idea. Uh, the state parks in Texas are hurting financially because it seems like this park's the first thing politicians cut when there needs to be a cut. You know, uh, uh, weird grants for uh, grants for uh, far out. You know, wacky green energy screens can get hundreds of millions of dollars, but. You know, our state park is desperate. Our state parks need about $2 million or a $1 million more than they've been given, and that's nothing in the big scheme of things. So why that's even an issue, I don't understand. So here we go. McKinney Falls State Park. There is a waterfall in here, I know that. And there's a lot of hiking in here. Gate is locked at 10, so you better be done before then. No overnight, so we're not going to camp out tonight. Turn right onto road, she says. No fireworks. A friend of mine's lived in a park for a couple of years till they saved up to buy a house. They uh, in the uh, in Texas, you can be a park host, which means you you don't get paid, but you can keep your uh, RV in the park permanently and you you act as sort of a helper to the rangers and a guide and just a general you know person to kind of help keep an eye on things it's called a, a park volunteer i think or park host they call them and so i used to tease them about how's life in the park well, they got a lot of dogs in that car ahead of them. they got more dogs than people get my uh, admission out try to pre I planned ahead and i try to pre-position a ten dollar bill in my pocket here so I could get at it easily. Yep, there it is. Ten American dollars. But it's only five dollars to get into the park. A few of them I've seen are a little bit more, like maybe six, you know. Five is pretty reasonable really. You know, people don't pay for it, they don't appreciate it. So I think a little bit of small admission fee is is perfectly alright. Maybe there's a senior citizen's discount I should ask for. No thanks. How <laughs> Howdy? For the day? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. right, be right back. What's your zip code? 78750. There you go. Are you to stick that on there? There we go. Mighty fine. Thank you, All sir. Oh, well, that's a pretty good, good bike, too. I like to at least go 250 miles. Yeah, well, yeah, these are both. VFR and this bike's made for traveling, yeah. that's for sure. Have a nice afternoon. Yeah. Well, that's good. Another owns a VFR. How about that? I seriously consider the VFR, so the riding position is a little bit aggressive for me. They had uh, the new VFRs marked down. They had the new VFR with the uh, dual clutch. Uh, I'm just going to explore a little bit. I've never been here before. With the dual clutch uh, system, which is a little bit more, it's similar to what I have, but it's a little bit more advanced. It has a fully automatic mode, and it has a semi-automatic mode similar to this. It doesn't have a clutch lever like this does. It's got, I think, a sport mode and a, you know, economy mode or something, and then a paddle mode like I've got where you can shift with a paddle. It's pretty back here. I'm going to turn the GPS off because she thinks yeah. so otherwise she'll be nattering at us the whole time. I look briefly at the Google map but I don't think I'm going to hit a dead end. I hope not because as I've often mentioned I don't like doing U-turns on little 
narrow roads <laughs> with this monster bike. There's a waterfall here. That's where those folks are no doubt going. Is this like a turnaround? Oh, this is a turnaround, so that's no problem. Let's go over there and see what the sign says about this park. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Okay. Whoa. Gravel. <laughs> There's gravel under my foot. Okay, it's got a nice visitor center. You got to be careful about uh, not getting drowned under the waterfall. No lifeguards. Uh, just general park safety and outline of the park. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, this is going to be fun. Okay, I think we're all right. Got it under control. Good. old ruin of something there. What's this? Let's see. Let's just stop and take a quick look at what we're looking at here. A lot of hiking here. It'd be a good place to hike, I think. Horse Trader's Cabin. I can't quite read the, the fine print. I see 1850s there, so the horse trader. My granddad on my mom's side was a horse trader. Mom grew up with horses. They had a corral in their backyard. This is pretty. Dining hall. Yeah, there's a like a dining hall there. Son of a gun. Who'd have thunk it? There's more parking, I guess a trailhead kind of thing in a picnic area. More stuff down here. A lot of gravel. A lot of gravel. Getting a little cooler. It's down to 68. It got up to 70. It's a perfect day for riding. Absolutely perfect for riding. Must be the visitor center. Okay. So this is McKinney Falls Park. Really nice. Might take my grandkids here someday. They might like it. I checked. Uh, I checked the traffic before I went into the other lane. Okay. There's the horse trading. 1850s horse safe trading building uh, from uh, in McKinney Falls State Park. Okay. That's McKinney Falls State Park. This is Jim, and I live in Texas.